gothics your documentary when did it come out and how much does it have to tie in with the current sweet baby ink drama is it just a lot of is it coincidental or like how long was that being worked on because I, I didn't get a chance to watch it yet but i want to yeah no worries um so it took it started being filmed uh late 2020 i think and it took three years to edit and it released oh, last december um okay so i think the majority of this is all coincidental i just <laughs> yeah it, it's yeah. actually kind of crazy um so like there's uh, basically, it takes you through, through the timeline of me being a Twitch streamer, getting canceled, yeah. and then showing all the vitriol that I was getting. And so it focuses on one uh, streaming community called The Cookout. Um, but a lot of the members of The Cookout were also in Black Girl Gamers. Although I don't explicitly mention Black Girl Gamers, but there are other uh, members in that compilation of Black Girl Gamers who a lot of people yeah. have been reporting on now. Like there's some chick that recently joined i forgot compulsion games or something like that um yeah, she's like a community manager out, yeah. she's in the documentary so it just shows like all of the vitriol i was getting from people who supposedly care about uplifting black voices well yeah. clearly not they just care about maintaining their leftist ideology yeah this was funny That's even crazy. elon musk talked about this didn't he did he retweet this talking about how, uh, like, why would you hire this person who hates gamers? No, he was talking about the um, <clears throat> the rare, the Microsoft Xbox rare brand manager. Um, He's been was, sharing a uh, lot of DEI gaming stuff. Um, Grums, do you remember the first one that kind of went viral, like the Elon Musk kind of chimed in on the gaming topic it was like a it was like a couple weeks ago well uh probably the first thing is is the clip where i talked about esg oh, that's right. funding in that's games right. and you and who it, was it the quartering i forget who uh I, where I, it you was were. the quartering yeah and okay. then and then he tweeted about it again when matt walsh oh, yeah. picked it up <laughs> that's right oh yeah and then matt walsh got dunked on because he's like a tourist he's a, he doesn't even like games you got his, Matt, right? Matt, yeah. Matt Walsh's response was crazy because his response was basically the gaming industry is toxic. So keep your kids away from video games. That's literally that was his response. It was weird, man. Uh, he's not my favorite person, but yeah, <laughs> he got, we got ratioed. Yeah. There's been but a yeah. lot of, there's been a lot of funny stuff going on. Just this is but Elon, Elon's so you actually, you actually yeah. knew her gothics. Yeah, I he's didn't, a real gamer. I oh, didn't yeah. know her, but she knew a lot about me, apparently. Oh, she looks really <laughs> like, angry. She, yeah. She always like, angry? Man, I <laughs> so like let me let me also just say, oh, like, no. I I don't wanna seem like I'm trying to trash people either. You know? It's, it's, yeah. it's like I just I just find it interesting how things work out. Uh yeah. yeah. I don't know. Jeez. She's yeah, I don't know. Why would you take this job if you hate gamers? Because they love blackness. That's why. And there's oh. money in it. Yeah, this is money. it's not about gaming for them. It's about pushing the politics. No. It's about exactly. pushing the social the agenda. Reason, yeah, it's, true. It's the same it's reason Star they've invested Wars, every part of media. Marvel. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, when, it's, when the it's, next it's trending a thing happens, they'll insert themselves into that and push their yes. politics. They do it with every single fandom they get involved in. Yeah. No, it's exactly like yeah. we even had people admit to this crap, right? Like the guy, uh, Biacelli over at Netflix who worked on He-Man and a bunch of other that crap like that who shoves the gay stuff in everything, right? Like he flat out said that because he was asked, why did they race swap an existing character instead of just creating a new one? And he said, because if we created a new one, no one would care. Now they will notice because we did it. That's it, He's basically telling you how the sausage is made. That's exactly what they're doing. That's all they know goddamn that's well all they if they create about. something new. If they actually try to make something new, nobody will care about it. But if they infest something that already exists, then they will. Like, if you take Harry Potter and you completely, you know, make it all black people, then people will notice, right? But if you make something like Harry Potter that has a bunch of black characters in it, in their eyes, nobody will care, right? So that, that's not going to get their message out there loud and proud. But Marvel will, Star Wars will, just like Valiant yeah. just said, you know, that kind of stuff. Why do you think Disney's so inundated with this shit? The Force is female, y'all. Cause it's I guess just like that's the tobacco industry. You get them while they're young, dude. That's why they're going after Disney. 